Hey, Chip Whitley here. Um, and I know I haven't been doing a video for a while, but blah, blah, blah. This is not what that's about. Um, I just want to say Marty Brenneman, uh, Voice of the Reds, retired today after 46 years. I'm from Cincinnati, Cincinnati born and bred. He is, I just want to say a few words about that guy. He's seen, you know, I, I personally have never met him. I kind of should have at one point because there have been I'm sure there have been opportunities where I could have like gone up and said hey how you doing what's up you know but um I just want to say he was the voice of my generation you know if you're a Reds fan growing up you listen to the radio you know every single game since 1974 has been Marty Brenneman. And until 2003, it was all Marty and Joe. That's all Cincinnati was. Marty and Joe on the radio. The Reds... That The Reds could do really good. They could do really bad. The players can come and go. But the one constant was Marty Brenneman. Marty and Joe. Marty was the play-by-play -play guy. Um, Joe Nuxall was the player and when he retired it's almost like that but you knew Marty was there he was always the safe haven he was always the guy that you go and say at least he's in the booth to help whoever the next guy along is which is Jeff Brantley and don't ask that I don't mind him there's just a couple things that I just there's at least one thing I don't care about him and that's the stupid kiss the baby thing that's just uh. anyways Getting off topic. Um, Marty Brenneman was, like I said, the voice of my childhood. I, I don't know if I will figure out until, like, you know, this next season, 2020, if, um, how it's going to be without hearing him on the radio calling Reds games. You know what I mean? And it's like... It's so weird these days, especially with um, the fact that the internet exists and blog podcasts and blogs and YouTube and TV has done, you know, baseball for up to 100 years and you kind of lose that radio. But it always feels like baseball has kind of had a community vibe. You know what I mean? Like, it's always felt like... You know, something your grandpa introduced you to, and that was through the radio, and that was through someone like Marty Brenneman, or Bob Euchre, or, you know, Harry Carey, or who, whomever. It always felt like, through the radio, you know, these guys were, you know, icons. And I don't think you really get that. I think we'll probably start losing that sooner or later. It might be sooner more than later how these old school icons of the past start retiring or start, like, leaving the booth. You know, people that you grew up with, like, you know. those peop Once those people start leaving, I don't know how good it's going to be. I think the fact that, I think we'll be okay, considering that uh, Jeff has been there, Jeff Brantley's been there a few years now, you know, taking over for Marty and, you know, being by his side. I think we'll be okay because we have a constant. We went from Marty and Joe to Marty and the Cowboy, and now the Cowboy is going to be riding with somebody else. So I think we'll be okay as far as that goes. But nobody could ever be as good as Marty. I mean, he's called some of the biggest games. He's he's called three World Series titles. He's called everything, every big moment. Ken Griffey Jr.'s five and 600th home run. He's called the um, Pete Rose's 41-92. He's called um, Hank Aaron's four, 714 in his first game as an announcer so to um 
So I don't know if there's going to be anybody like him, but uh, we'll see. It's going to be interesting, but this is just from one Cincinnati into another, from one guy who's a huge Reds fan to the one of the greatest broad, uh, broadcasters, radio broadcasters of all time. You know, thanks, Marty. Appreciate the 46 years, and, uh, you know, this video belongs to Marty. So, um, yep. See ya.